Avs faithful, Brian Johansson here at the uh, Colorado Avalanche annual charity golf tournament here. Pumped to be in Colorado and can't wait to get things going and got a perfect day here for some golf. Okay, I like that. <laughs> How was that? Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. Let's go. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Oh, I like this. Spin hard. Spin hard. Oh, it took like a big hop. Yeah. Yeah. Do I consider myself a golfer? I, I would say yes, because I belong to a club in Nashville with my time there, and I'm always down to get out and play some golf, so played it growing up and whatnot, so I, I would definitely consider myself a golfer. Oh, he's heating up. Oh, I think that's there. Yes, nice shot. No, left it out. Do I have a favorite course? Yeah, I've been pretty spoiled with playing some golf courses and traveling around a bit, but I'd have to say my favorite course is Pebble Beach down in the Monterey area in California. You know what's a cool one, actually? A kind of a favorite golf story of mine is did a charity golf tournament with my little brother back home in, in Vancouver for uh, chunky years, and it was, uh, it was at where they filmed Happy Gilmore. So it was always fun, kind of conversation topic and, and looking around the course and recognizing some things from the movie. So that was, uh, that was always fun. Go ahead, boss. What do you see? Side door. Side door. Who's this? That's Good to see you guys right here. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> How much fun has that been, oh, huh? It's been incredible, hey, isn't that hilarious? I gotta get me a cowboy hat and a pair of shades. So my driver cover, um, like we all do, cruise on Amazon. They had uh, they had this custom head cover they do where you can send in a couple pictures of your dog, and they try and replicate it as best as possible. So I gave it a shot, and it turned out pretty good. Represent my boy and. You get a lot of questions and conversation starters from it. And it's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Please. That's interesting, huh? That changes my decision. That was beautiful. I'm proud of you. That was awesome. What is going on now? Goodness. Splish splash. He's taking a bath. Kind of a funny story, actually, uh, how the trade went down. I was in Napa Valley, and uh, my future wife and I were spending her birthday there and celebrating that. And, and then in the morning when we were departing, I got a call from Barry in Nashville, and then shortly after, C-Mac and, and Joe. And, and uh, so I found out in Napa Valley, and, and uh, yeah, that's when, the, that's when it all went down. I like that. Get one of them big birds. I think you see the see the light circle just right of the cup, just left of that. I would say like right here is where you're starting it. Why did we Dude, even get out of the carts? Unreal. Geez, well, we gotta come support them and <laughs> give them a high five. <laughs> Do something. Wow. There you go. What a wow. Good work. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna be on ESPN. Never, <laughs> never buying the Colorado Avalanche website. Yeah. Oh, my first impressions of Denver are awesome. I mean, I've I've also played on the road here for over 11, around 12 years, so I've I've gotten to know Denver pretty well. And, and I've always loved coming here, 
so many great areas with restaurants, shops, and and I growing up in Vancouver, BC, and how outdoorsy it is and active, and and uh, reminds me a lot of that as well. And just love seeing people out and about, exercising, doing doing things outdoors, and so it's uh, kind of got a home feel to it, and but also a bunch of new experiences for myself. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity here. And, where I'm at in my stage of my career and where this team's at and what the environment has been around the locker room just in my first month and a half here. It's it's special and you feel that and you see it and, and you want to be a part of it. And and so it's just a real exciting time for myself and, and I'm just looking forward to bringing to the table what I know I can bring and, and to help this team to get back where they were a couple of years ago. Oh, I did it again. God. Get a beer. Get a beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, Here he comes. Now he's, now he's up. up. What does it say? 133 to flag. I like that. I like that number. Go. That is recovery, my man. Thanks, boy. He's <laughs> took, a, took a few shots off. Playing against the Avs the last few years sucked. It was uh, they are they were an impressive team. And when I was younger, we we had their number there for a few years. And then as the years were going along, uh, they kept uh, like getting away from us and uh, separating themselves from not only where I've played but the rest of the league. And, it's been really challenging playing them, so kind of back to you know the special players and talents and and character that's a part of this group. It's it's a, it's pretty cool for me to to be having the opportunity to throw on this sweater and be a part of it. There's like 10 players. I'm happy they're on my team now. Maybe even more, but obviously with with Nate and Kale and and uh, Landis Gog. There's a lot of guys throughout this lineup that. You, that are just special players and it's it's been really cool and enjoyable just to be practicing with them right now and being on the ice and and learning their you know their little things and tricks and how they play and and uh trying to get chemistry with different guys and just just with them practicing and doing drills and some of their tendencies and whatnot it's been fun and and uh, learning about them Bob, that was yeah. trickling. Can we come to play? Let's go. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Hey. My goodness. There it is. I mean. Oh, absolutely you hit it, yeah. yeah. I'm not going after Ryan. Yeah. That's why I go first. I get it. Oh, my God. Man, that was. That was on its way. A little harder, eh? I had it. I'm definitely having another beer after that. <laughs> Damn right. Oh, that's, that's a pretty fun one. Nice shot. Taze was up here. Taze was tight. Must have landed right here. Oh, yeah. Dang. Look, now I'm blocking somebody from getting a hole in one, too. Oh. Do I, should I putt it? You gotta tap it in here. Oh. oh, and there's a spider. Nice shot, man. Got that. Thanks, buddy. That Appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. It's good, clean fun right there. That's all it is. Okay, guys, next hole. <laughs> One goal for me, boss. One goal this year is to win the cup. and It's not every year you get to say that um, with confidence and knowing that, you know, there's, we got a team here that's, it's in a position where it's either we win or it's a kind of a failure of a year. So that's the goal. Left my ball on the cart. <laughs> you ever hit a hole in one? I've never had one. Ah, oh, never. You could have witnessed it. I was just looking at it. I'm so like, close. I may have been closer than that one or two times in my life though, and that's it. And I've played a lot of yeah. golf. <laughs> Oh, it's coming. What are you owing? That came 
right I've never back. seen someone so hard on themselves and be so good. The American dream. Oh, what a sport. Huh? It's beautiful. I love it. It's so good. Oh no! <laughs> New ball. Favorite off season activity, either getting on the boat or golfing. Tough. That's a tough one, but both of those would be two things I like to do the most. You know, uh, the, the World Juniors is probably my favorite hockey memory and just being a part of all that. And it was just a real cool experience. Go to karaoke song would be Rockstar by Nickelback. I do not have any hidden talents. It's what you see is what you get. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, boys, come on! All right, what what pregame rituals do you have? I don't have any crazy rituals or superstitions, really. Other than I, I got to get my coffee on the way to the rink. Uh, that's about it. Go-to coffee order. I'm a little strange with this, I guess. If, no matter how cold it is, I love an, I love a cold brew coffee. That's uh, I have to have that. I don't know why. What is your favorite sport other than hockey? I'd have to say golf. Golf uh, definitely would be that. What's been your most embarrassing moment while playing in the NHL? Also, welcome to Colorado. So happy to have you. You're awesome. <laughs> I love that. Most embarrassing moment. Probably getting swept by the abs a couple of years ago. <laughs> What's your favorite song right now? Mm. That White Horse by Chris Stapleton's a pretty good song. Go with that one. What's your hype song? Anything Nickelback. If you could choose your goal song, what would you choose? Rockstar by Nickelback. Favorite thing about Colorado so far? Ooh, you know what, I've been really impressed with the people. I think just the people everywhere I've been, everyone's super nice and kind, and it's really uh, just been a warm, feel-at-home kind of welcome feeling. So, Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes, it does. What's with the comb back? I don't know. It's too, too lazy to do anything else. Are you ready to party? Yes. Where did he get his McKinnon socks? On Amazon. I think out of five shots from here, we'll get an easy birdie putt. This is our first chip of the day. That's a good point. Get one close, up and down for a bird. A little too hard. No, 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 no. How are you, boss? How are you, coach? Way to clean it up. Way to clean it up. Abs Faithful, thank you for hanging out. We're, uh, we're having a great day here on the course, making lots of birdies. So, peace out, and I'll see you at the rink soon.